In today's video, I'm going to test these five low-profile GPUs in this budget small form factor Dell Optiplex. So I recently did a video on this Optiplex. Just to review what I did real quick, I have a friend that wanted a PC with the main purpose to play Fortnite only along with his son. He didn't want to spend a lot of money. I put together a small form factor PC with this Optiplex. It's got an i7-4790, 16 gigs of RAM, and I put in an R5-430, which I hoped would play Fortnite at 60 FPS, but it fell short. I mean, it's playable, but I was hoping for something better. So I probably should have went with a different GPU. So today I'm going to test out five different low profile GPUs in this Optiplex to see how they perform. Now I know a lot of people like these small form factor office PCs, so I hope this helps them make a decision, you know, based on their individual needs. All right, first up we have the RX 550. This has four gigs of GDDR5, and you could pick this up on eBay for about 40 bucks. Then we got the Radeon Pro WX4100. This also has four gigs of GDDR5. And you can get this for about $55 to $60 on eBay. Then we have the Radeon RX 6400. This has 4 gigs of GDDR6. And you can get this brand new for about $120 to $150. Then we have the GTX 1050 Ti. This has 4 gigs of GDDR5. Now this used to be way overpriced, but you can now get these for just under $100 on eBay. Now this last one should be interesting. This is the RTX 3050. This one has six gigs of GDDR6. While remember the other cards all had four gigs of VRAM, this has six. And this one is also the most expensive, coming in at between $170 and $180. So what I plan to do for all these cards is first run the heaven benchmarks, get a score, and then I'm going to run benchmark tests in the following games. I'm going to do Forza Horizon 5, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, GTA 5, and then I'm going to play some Fortnite and show some gameplay with Fortnite. I obviously can't try too many games or else the video would be crazy long. But I just chose these games because they had built-in benchmarks that you could run. So let's get started. All right, first card we're going to try is the RX 550. And here's the Heaven Benchmark score. We got 31 FPS and a score of 7080. And here is the benchmark test for Forza Horizon 5. Uh, I'll show some gameplay and then show you the score at the end. Okay, so I forgot to mention this was on the low settings on 1080p, and we got a score of 38 FPS. And um, you see here it says uh, the current setting preset is at low, but it actually suggests the preset should be medium, so that was kind of interesting. But yeah, so we got 30 FPS here on low settings. Next up we have GTA 5. This is uh, high settings in 1080p. I then drop the settings down to normal, and as you can see, I got a nice little bump with the FPS here. And here's Shadow of the Tomb Raider 1080p on low settings.
and as you can see we got an average FPS of 30 here. And here's Fortnite 1080p in performance mode. Okay, next card we have up is the WX4100. As you can see with the Heaven benchmark, we got an FPS of 40.9 and a score of 1029. And again, we have Forza Horizon 5, 1080p, low settings. And this time we hit 48 FPS here. And here's GTA 5, uh, 1080p, high settings. And now here we are on normal settings. And here's Shadow of the Tomb Raider on low settings, 1080p. <laughs> And we ended up with a score of average of 38 FPS, so an 8 frame difference, 8 uh, frame jump from the RX 550. And here's Fortnite Performance Mode 1080p. Okay, next card on deck is the RX 6400. As you can see here with the Heaven Benchmark score, we have an FPS of 109 and a score of 2746, so not too bad. Okay, here we are with Forza Horizon 5. Again, low settings, 1080p. Um, on MSI Afterburner, I forgot to change the label for the GPU, so this is the RX 6400, not the WX 4100. Also, for some reason, uh, my capture card was not capturing the audio when I tested out the RX 6400. So no audio here, sorry about that. And we ended up with an 88 FPS here, not too bad at all. Okay, and again, no audio here, sorry about that guys, but here is GTA 5, this is on the high settings. And as you can see, uh, we're getting better and better uh, performance with each card so far. I think that might change, though, when I switch over to the GTX 1050 Ti, which is the next card I'm going to do. And now this is GTA 5 on normal settings here. And here is Shadow of the Tomb Raider.
And as you can see at the end, we got an average FPS of 82. And here's Fortnite, again, performance mode, 1080p. Um, again, no audio for this card. I don't know what I was doing with my capture card here. Uh, but as you can see in Fortnite, I'm getting an average right now about 156 FPS. So really good performance here. And so far, so good. Okay, next card up on deck is the GTX 1050 Ti. And we got an FPS here of 68.4 and a score of 1722 in the Heaven benchmark. And in Forza Horizon 5, the GTX 1050 Ti in low settings achieved 45 FPS here. And here is GTA 5 1080p on the high settings. And now here we are on the normal settings. And here is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And here we have an average FPS of 46. And here we have some Fortnite again at 1080p in performance. Okay, and the final card for this video is the RTX 3050. Now this is the one with six gigs of GDDR6, and the FPS is 119.4, and the score is 3007. Now this is only about 10 more FPS than the RX 6400. Now this is interesting, here we have an FPS of 65, when the RX 6400 actually got an FPS in the same settings of an 88, an 88 FPS for the RX 6400, 65 here with the RTX 3050. And here's GTA 5 benchmark on the high settings.
And now here we are on the normal settings. And here is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, low settings, 1080p again. And here we have an average FPS of 77. And uh, remember the RX 6400 had an average FPS of 82. And finally, here's some Fortnite 1080p uh, performance mode. Okay, so that's it for the testing. Uh, I do want to mention that sometimes the fans spun up quite a bit on some of the games with the RTX 3050. Uh, it definitely got noisy, just something to keep in mind. So I usually don't do charts or graphs, but here is one comparing the FPS in the Heaven benchmark for each card. Uh, I was kind of surprised that the RX 6400 and the RTX 3050 were so close. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. And if you have a small form factor PC, tell me which low profile GPU you are using in the comments below. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching.